So another update for the exporter plugin is out. This time the process walkthrough is only going to be three parts. I'm going to start by showing how to export the model out of Koikatsu. Then I'm going to go over all the options of the KKBP Blender plugin. And at the very end, I'll do a short demonstration of how to export the model as an FBX file and then import the model into Unity. At the time of publishing, these are the supported versions of each program. If something isn't working properly, try using the newest version of KKBP, or try using one of the program versions shown on screen. Okay, so you should have the programs at this point. You're going to want to install the HF patch if you haven't already done that, because that includes some cool stuff that allows you to load plugins inside of Koiketsu. This takes about an hour to download and install, so do that and come back in an hour. When you have the HF patch installed, you can load the KKBP exporter plugin created by Media Moots. This is pretty much the same as the PMX exporter plugin from a couple years ago, except now it's on steroids. These exports are much more complete and are overall a lot better than what the original exporter can give you. The KKBP exporter plugin can be found in its own zip file. If you're using Koiketsu or Koiketsu Party, then you're going to want the Net 3.5 version. But if you're using Koiketsu Sunshine, then you're going to want the Net 4.6 version. Once you've confirmed which version you need, go to your Koiketsu directory, go into the Bepinex folder, and drag the DLL file into the Plugins folder. Now when you load a card in the Character Creator, there's going to be an Export button on the top. If you want to export the clothing variations like the shift or hang state clothing, you can check this box. If you want to export the hitboxes, then check this box. And if you only want to export the current outfit, then check this box. Click the export button and, you know, just give it a minute or two. This stuff can take a while. Here's a benchmark with my computer specs, so you can get an idea of how long it might take for you to export your character. When it's finished, you'll get a folder that has everything. I'm just going to take this folder and move it to my downloads folder. And that's it for the Koiketsu section, so let's open Blender. Koikatsu. To import the model, you're going to need the KKBP add-on and either the MMD Tools add-on or the CATS add-on. It doesn't really matter which, so I'm just going to use the CATS add-on. You can install KKBP and CATS like any other add-on in the Preferences menu. After you install KKBP, it'll be in the sidebar. There's lots of options and I'll go over those in a second, but right now just click the import model button and choose the PMX file from your export folder. The import process does a lot of stuff, so again, just give it some time. If you want a ballpark of how long it might take you, here's my computer specs again, and here's how long the model took for me to import. And if you think the plugin is taking way too long, then you can check it's actually doing something by opening the terminal before you click the import button and it'll give you some progress as it's going through everything. If you want an explanation of the other import options, you can stay in this video, or if you already like everything imported and you want an overview of the KKBP setup and KKBP materials, you can skip ahead to the next video. Okay, you're still here, so that must mean you want to know about all of these lovely options. I'll start with the Armature Choices menu. The KKBP armature will give you basic IKs and an eye controller. If you go into pose mode, you can move things around to make sure everything works. So here's a hand IK. And here's the eye controller right here. The bones have readable names and are separated by armature layers. Here's what you can find in each armature layer. This is the only armature type that is supported if you plan on using the features here to export the model, so just keep that in mind if you decide to use a different armature type. The Rigify armature was made by an anonymous contributor and will give you an advanced armature that you can use inside of Blender. These are organized by rig layers found in the Item tab. Most of the bones also have additional properties that can be toggled on and off. For example, this IK stretch on the left hand IK. You can also start off with the KKBP armature, 
and then convert it to a Rigify armature by going into the KKBP Extras section of the panel and clicking the Convert for Rigify button. The Quick Atsu Armature option will modify the armature to match the in-game armature. This armature is pure FK, so everything must be rotated manually. You can't move bones around like you could with the other one, you'll just get something like this. But if you plan on retargeting ripped animations from Koiketsu onto your model, this is probably the best option to go with because the armature structures will match each other. This armature also does not have an eye controller. If you choose the PMX armature option, the plugin will give you the same armature that the KKBP exporter gives you. This one is also FK only and does not give you an eye controller. Let's move on to the categorization options menu. The don't pause to categorize option is the express option. This will give you three main objects, a body object, an outfit object, and a hair object. There are also sub objects like the gag eyes, tears, and tongue objects. If you decided to export the alternate clothing options, those are separated and hidden by default. This is what the top one looks like. I'll leave the bottom one to your imagination. Special unused materials like the bony fans and shadow casts can be found in the shadow cast collection. If you chose to export the hitboxes, those will appear in the hitboxes collection. Don't ask why there's two of them. And if you want to edit the bone widgets used by the armature, those are in the bone widgets collection. The pause to categorization option does exactly what it says on the tin and pauses at a certain point in the import process so you can separate the objects manually. The first object to separate in this mode is always the hair, and the hair is already selected, so I'm just going to separate that. Now that it's separated, I'm going to rename it to hair, and I'm also going to add the uh, outfit number number. In this case, it's going to be outfit 00. If I had more outfits, then you know, I'd do 01, 02. But right now, I've only got the one outfit. And let's say I wanted to categorize further, so I'm going to separate the bow too. And rename that to bow outfit 00. And you could keep going if you wanted to, just don't separate anything from the body or the hair objects. Also, note that the alternate clothing pieces are still automatically separated. The bow is the only thing that I wanted to manually separate, so I'm going to bring the panel back up and click Finish Categorization. Now that it's done, I'm left with the automatically separated clothing pieces and the manually separated bow object. If you choose to automatically categorize, every piece of clothing will have its own object. This is what that looks like. The last one is special. If you categorize by SMR data, Every piece of clothing will have its own object, the eyes and eye whites will be separated from the body object, and no textures will be applied to the model. I'm not exactly sure what this is used for, but if you want it, there it is! The next one has to do with the dark colors. KKBP does not replicate the dark colors shown in Quiketsu yet, but it does give you a head start, and depending on which option you choose, you might find that you don't need to edit the dark colors at all. Here's examples of all of the dark color settings. If you don't like one of the settings, you can always change it. Just click the Recalculate button, choose your export folder, in my case it's my downloads folder, and when it's done, it will reset the dark colors with the option that you chose. For shape keys, the first option will make the shape keys work as you expect them to. You can go to the Shape Key tab and activate them manually. Or you can just choose the Shape Key and check this little pin to scroll through them. These Shape Keys are made from the partial Shape Keys that come from the original PMX model. If you want to keep those, then you can choose the second option. In order to use these partial shape keys, you need to activate more than one at a time. 
For example, in order to use this angry mouth shape key, I need to activate this one, this one, this one, and this one to get the full shape key. Or I can just activate the KK shape key, which combines all of these into one shape key. The final shape key choice is exactly what it says. In this mode, shape keys are not translated to English and not combined, so you're left with the partial shape keys. This mode also does not generate the tier shape keys or the gag shape keys, so you'll have to set them up yourself or delete them. I think the final options are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to skip over those. You can mouse over them if you want more details. And that's it for part one. The next part is going to show how to edit the colors and materials on the model.